I am Queen Hetiperis, mother of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, the follower of Horus, who is in charge of the affairs of the harem, she for whom her every word is done, daughter of the god of his body. I was wife of King Snefru, Lord of Truth, King of Upper and Lower Egypt. I sit in my palace at Memphis, just south of the great royal cemetery of Giza, where my son, King Khufu, is building his great pyramid, Akhet Khufu. Come, hear my story. Dateline Cairo, February 19, 1925. Today, an important discovery occurred in the Egyptian desert. A remote and little-known period of Egyptian life is being pieced together, scrap by scrap, as the contents of a secret and newly discovered tomb are brought to light. No queen ever had a resting place more secure. Sunk almost a hundred feet into the rock, members of the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts Expedition, led by American Egyptologist George Reisner, have labored month upon month to excavate and document this unique find. Meticulous removal and study of every last fragment allowed them to reconstruct some of the tomb's contents. Let us have Dr. Reisner show you some of the objects he found. We found one of the oldest sets of furniture anywhere. Here is the queen's carrying chair. Four men hoisted it up on their shoulders to carry her around. The tomb contained two beautiful gilded chairs with ornamental designs. A series of elegant bracelets with butterfly inlays was placed in their own box. On top of the sarcophagus were poles from a bedroom canopy and a long box for the canopy's curtains. In a niche in the western wall, an alabaster canopic chest held the queen's internal organs, still in liquid form after nearly 5,000 years. The alabaster sarcophagus provided a great mystery to me and my group of distinguished visitors. Instead of containing the queen's body, it was completely empty. How do we explain this unusual tomb? I believe that Hetiperis was originally buried at Dashur, south of Giza, near her husband, Snefru. Then she was moved here secretly by her son Khufu, who was told her tomb was plundered, but not that her body had been destroyed. Others later came to believe that Heta Peris was moved from here to the closest of the three small queen's pyramids nearby. But why leave the canopic chest containing her organs behind? Or could she first have been buried in that queen's pyramid and then moved to this secret chamber? But then, why move an empty sarcophagus? Finally, some feel this tomb is not a tomb at all, but a ritual burial of just the queen's tomb equipment. But then, why include a canopic chest without a mummy? So, here is yet another ancient Egyptian mystery. What is the true story? What happened to me? And where is my final burial place? <laughs> 